Here it is. What's up? First time Jackson made a bit of spare cash, he, uh, he took some time out, you yeah, know, went travelling. This is his diary. I want to go to all the places he went to. I see, yeah. And can I just inquire? Yes. I asked Aaron if he would like to come with me. In fact, I did more than that. I said he should come. Have you got something you'd like to say? That boy is still vulnerable, Hazel. He needs to be with his mother and the rest of his family. They're the ones who should be taking care of him. Oh, yeah. Because they've done a great job so far. What he needs is to get out of here. Right. You want to look after him, yeah? It's, 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 it's natural. It's very laudable. I think that he needs to be with his family. Also natural. You know what? The answer is staring us right in the face. You should both stay. I can't. Why not? But if, if you go, y y your friends will miss you. The twins will miss you. In particular, I'll miss you. Aaron. All right. I need one of them. Well, they sell him in there, you know. I can't. I'm on duty. I think I'll just sit here and watch you drink that. Leo, this morning, <laughs> he's sat on the landing behind the gate and he's throwing everything he can get his hands on down the stairs. <laughs> I can't wait for him to start nursery. Right. Anyway, I'm sensing a lack of interest. What's happened to your head? Oh, I was going in for a diving header and this lad came in and with his studs flying it and he's serious. He... What have you done to your head? <sighs> Banged it on a car bonnet. Bad idea. Mm. Aaron! I've got to get to work, Hazel. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Busy boy? Yeah. Is, is there anything going on that I should know about? Sorry, Paddy. A bit busy myself. See ya. Is it Hazel today? Why do you ask? Just think her and Aaron are out around. Right. Don't know. Obviously, I'm not privy to everything that goes on between them, but it might be something to do with the fact that she's planning on going on her travels. Yeah, well, no offence, but the sooner the better, I'd say. Right, I'll have a latte, please. Have you seen Aaron? I was just saying, Aaron and Hazel have fallen out. Yeah, well, it might have something to do with the fact he bumped his head while he was doing a stupid bobber job for her. He told me he did his head on a car bonnet. OK, that's worrying. Hazel tells you everything, right? No, not at all. What's going on, Bob? I'm the wrong person to ask. Well, I am asking you, and if you don't tell me, I might have to hurt you. I, but, please, something's up. Just tell us. Hazel's asked Aaron to leave the country with her. You what? In fact, she's encouraged him to do so. I think you and me need to go and have a word. Please, go gently. Not all right, Hazel. Not at all, if I'm honest. You heard. You lost your son, so you just thought you'd get yourself a replacement. Is that it? No. Because that's what it seems like to me. Let's just try and keep this calm, shall we? He needs to get away from here. Somewhere he can make a fresh start. Away from all the memories. Away from... his family. How dare you? Seriously, how dare you have a go at my family? Chaz, losing your temper isn't going to help. If there's one thing that Aaron needs right now is his family. It's me and Zach and Ken. And if he stays around here with them, he's going to end up in prison or dead. What are you talking about? You have no idea how screwed up your family is, do you? I, you really are the village idiots. Oh, I've had enough of this. No. One more word out of you and so help me. Oh, yeah, because that's a dingle's answer to everything, isn't it? Give someone a good hiding. That's exactly why he has to get away from here. What's going on? What happened to your head, Aaron?
Aaron. You did it, didn't you? You see, this is what the madness in your family drives him to. Once you get away from it, you'll feel better, I promise you. Don't start that again. Just stay out of it. This has got nothing to do with my family. It's not them driving me mad. I did this to myself because of you. I only want what's best for you. You can start... No, you want what's best for you. He was starting to get somewhere. He hadn't hurt himself for weeks, and then you have to go and stick your oar in. Mum. I feel sorry for you. I really do, OK? But you have to stay out of my son's life. Right, just get out of here, both of you. And let me talk to her. Come on. Chaz. It seems to me you're confused and scared. I'm not confused. And I'm not scared. I did this to myself because you were putting pressure on me, making me feel as though I had to move abroad with you because that's what Jackson would have wanted. It, all right. I was wrong. Although, to be fair, you never said that, did you? And I'm not actually telepathic. Well, I'm saying it now. I don't want to go abroad. OK. So I'll stay. It'll be fine, Aaron. It's... We just need it to be clear. You're still not getting it. I am. I'm getting it. You don't want to go anywhere. It's you, Hazel. You're the problem. Every time I see you, all I can think of is Jackson. I remember being in this room and putting that cup to his lips. Every time. I know that. I know that because I see the same thing every time I look at you. I see the hurt in your eyes. I see the pain and the memories. I see Jackson. Why do you want to be around me? Because I can't let go. Why do you think I came back here? I can't let go. You know, everyone thinks that it's me who can't cope. They think it's me that's in trouble. But it's not, is it? It's you. You've got to leave. Without you? Without me. But Jackson wanted us to be together. He wanted us to look out for each other. Yes, but that didn't mean that we had to stick together for the rest of our lives. He wanted what was best for us. And what's best for you right now is to get your ticket and get out of here. And what's best for me is to stay put. I don't want to go. I know you don't. But if we're ever going to move on, then we're going to have to be apart. All right, son, you, uh, you get home. I want to be on my own. <laughs>